So, as you know, these two are my torrential communal enclosures. On top, I have Monocentropus Balfouri setup, and they are doing great. While on the bottom, I have Hysterocrates Gigas, but they are doing not so great because down here you can see a dead tarantula and it doesn't seem like this tarantula died from natural causes this tarantula was murdered <music> yesterday night i was doing the maintenance in the dark den and i was feeding all the tarantulas and watering their enclosures and when i reached this communal enclosure i open the door and immediately a terrible smell came from it just like it is coming now because the tarantula is still there but at first i thought that there is a, a dead roach inside because sometimes when tarantula is, is in a premolt and the roach enters its burrow it will actually kill the roach at least it will try to kill the roach and just dump it outside and therefore that roach can start to smell i mean it will start to smell so I thought that that is the case here, but as I was looking around the enclosure to find the dead roach, I found this dead tarantula. And the reason I know that this tarantula was murdered is because if it just died out of natural cause, you know, when tarantula dies, it goes in a dead curl and this tarantula is just laying on its back as it was just dumped over there. So yeah, it's, they, it definitely looks like this tarantula was murdered. Let me just get her out and I will just throw her out because the smell is terrible. I just hope she won't fall apart. I'm not sure how long it was dead, but it was dead for quite a while because just judging by that smell. So just a second outside the nature can deal with it. You know, the circle of life, all the ants and other bugs that will eat it. And oh, look, Linda just came out of her hole. I fed her yesterday and it is a daytime so i'm not sure why she is out because she is usually not outside during the day anyhow let me freshen up your memory in regards to this enclosure i mean this communal setup it all started in 2019 with a sexy time because i had a mature male hysterocrates gigas and since i had an adult female there was just one thing to do that pairing was actually pretty funny because he seemed to lack a bit of confidence but it was understandable because she was much much bigger than he was and regardless of that the pairing was successful and he even stopped if i remember correctly he even stopped her once when it appeared that she tried to attack him half a year later she made an egg sack and a few weeks after i snatched it to incubate those eggs and to my surprise they were already in eggs with legs stage so i placed them in the incubator and let them develop after they molted, I moved them into a plastic bin where they continued to grow, bravely munching the, the wounded roaches that I was dropping inside. And that was really a joy to watch. I read that these species can potentially be kept communal, so that is why I decided to test the theory. And once they molted again, I moved them into a bigger plastic tub. And at that point, I counted around 50 of slings. After they molted once more, I decided to build this proper enclosure. And while I moved them into it, I noticed that they were sharing the same tunnels and I counted 47 of them, which gave me the confidence that this could really work out. It appeared that they did well together and they did not eat each other but as time moved on even though i never noticed any i never observed any hostility in between them i noticed less and less burrows inside and in december last year i noticed one huge individual in the back much bigger than the others i could observe it seems that that one wasn't only munching on the roaches that i was dumping in so therefore i decided to destroy this enclosure and dig out all the individuals that is if I will be able to find any other tarantulas. At least one, I mean, besides that huge one, I noticed another individual in the corner. So we will try to first get that one out. And that one is right here. Can you see? It is being really clumped up and I have no idea why it is outside of the burrow, but that is the burrow of the, of the huge tarantula. I'm gonna grab the light so you can see inside so we can hopefully see her before we destroy the burrow although now i don't see it and she actually got two burrows one is over there and the other one is over there two entrance to her burrow but again i cannot see the tarantula hmm, this hole is apparently much bigger than i 
than I anticipated. Okay, I will just get the tarantula out. The one that is currently out, although I cannot see what I'm actually doing. Sorry for that. Okay, there it is. There it is, one Hysterocarotis gigas. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I need a catch cap, it's right here. Mm -hmm. No. Go inside of the, come on. Now, oh, there we go. That was unnecessary complicated. For now, I will put her inside of this box. If she will go, yes. Now you wait there. Okay, now we can start digging. First I will get these rocks out. And of course that I see the roaches. I will probably find a bunch of roaches. Oh, is this hole anyone there? I don't see any legs, but... Oh! <laughs> this tiny branch touched my fingers and I thought it was a tarantula, so therefore I like... Pah! Okay, once again. Uh huh. There is indeed an uh, individual over there. Catch cup and some pokes. What? I can't see it. Apparently, this burrow goes, yeah, somewhere down. I guess. Hmm. This won't be as easy as I thought. I will take this cork bark out, but I need to inspect it because there can't be a tarantula inside. Uh, no, but if there is no tarantula, there can be some roaches and I don't want roaches running around. Looks like this is clear, okay. Now, let's try to find that tarantula. Whoa, this burrow goes... Holy! Oh, and it now collapsed into this huge burrow that is... This is a maze! Uh, I went to grab the ring light so I can see better, but in the meantime, this fell down. Great! At least the glass didn't break. <laughs> Miracle. Oh, that's a lot of light. Maybe even too much light, but now I can't really fit the cam... Ha! Apparently there is just no easy way. So, I will just continue to dig here and we will see. Nothing in that clump. So hopefully I can pick it up with my hand. I hope that tarantula didn't manage to squeeze inside of the burrow of the big tarantula. That would be bad, but I think that we could hear the struggle if the big tarantula was fighting the small one. So we should... We oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> She's over there. No, no, don't go. Oh, this is so hard. I got 99 problems and this tarantula is one. Oh, can I pick this up? I just hope I can. I don't see any wiggle in the substrate, so hopefully it's safe. Okay, I see it. Oh, there is another one. <laughs> I have no idea if you can see what I'm doing down there. But I'm struggling with a tarantula and there we go. So I didn't prepare the, this. Yes. So now we know that there is at least another one. Honestly, I was prepared to find zero additional tarantulas. But yeah, it is not a complete catastrophe. Um, is that a tarantula? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Let me check. Yeah, she was just hiding in the substrate. This is so hard with just one hand, sorry, but I need to use the other one. And I see the substrate moving on the other side. Okay, there it is. Third one is right, right here. <laughs> this is such a chaos. This is where I noticed some movement with this clump of dirt. Now it appears that there is nothing there. But I swear something was moving. Hum hum hum. Should I just move this huge log and be done with it? I think I will do that, yeah. I will set the camera on the other side so we can see if something moves. So we can now observe. Okay, nothing major moved. And now I don't see the huge tarantula. What is this? 
Is it in the cork bark here? There could definitely be a tarantula in this webbing. So let me check. Hmm, nothing, not even a roach. Oh, 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 look, 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 look. Oh, there is a tunnel under here. And <laughs> check it out, a roach. But let me inspect this log further. No, there is nothing on the log. Weird. What about this cork bark? Webbing over there and webbing over there. Let's investigate. Really? Nothing. But that was the perfect place for Tarantula to hide. What the hell? So there is only one possibility. Ah, yeah. You see the movement down here? That's the big one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Her abdomen is there. Her abdomen is huge, you see? Oh, defense. Come on. <laughs> Stop with that. Yeah, yeah, go. Oh, she's so mad. Look, she's on the back. You know, I should be the one that is mad because you ate majority of your brothers. Oof. So mad, so mad. She's definitely alpha of this enclosure. I know that it is a female because it would be a mature male already if it was a male. And you see those fangs? She's like threatening with them constantly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a really tough spot. Come on, just like... Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. She's biting the... She's biting the straw. I almost could have moved her into the... Wait, 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 no. Yes. Ah, finally. Finally, she's in the catch cup. And sorry if you couldn't see everything, but yeah, I had to prioritize stuff. Those fangs, those mad fangs. Ooh. I think that we hurt her ego a lot because she used to be the top dog of this enclosure. And you see how her burrow was really, really spread around. So I'm pretty sure that slowly but surely as she was increasing her burrow, she was reaching the burrow of other tarantulas and therefore that is how she ate majority because um, tarantulas, they don't really wander outside of their burrow. So I don't really expect that the other tarantulas wandered into her burrow or she actually actively hunted other tarantulas. She was just the most capable out of all of them. But we will carry on. There should be at least one more tarantula inside. And that one went somewhere here. Is this another cork bark? It seems like it. This cork bark is actually really heavy. I think that... Oh! <laughs> there's the tarantula. She fell out of the cork bark. <laughs> Crazy! This video is quite an adventure, I must say. Okay, you don't want to go into that direction. Then you can go into other direction. Come on! Uh. <sighs> she will go everywhere except in the except in the catch cup, you see? Come on, it is not that hard. No. Come on, go in. This video is so stressful actually. And there we go. That is how the cookie crumbles. We can continue our search now. Doom, 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 doom. I see a bunch of roaches. Where are my other tweezers? I will collect those roaches as I said. Where did the other one go? Who? Some super slim dubia. <laughs> but no tarantulas in this corner. Gonna grab this one. Oh, look. I didn't even notice, but here is one. Another tarantula after all. She seemed a little shocked to be just dug out like that. True, that was easy. Perfect. So, so far six tarantulas and maybe there is still some room here. Maybe we find another one. This seems like a tunnel, so there is definitely a chance. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, tarantula after all. Look right there in the substrate. Oh, no, 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 you, you should not. How dare you try to escape? Pokey, pokey. Oh, look at this. 
You see this leg, this is a regenerated leg, which means that she lost her leg and then when she molted, she actually regenerated the leg. That's why it is so small and stunted. Interesting, interesting. I wonder how she lost that leg. Does that mean that there was some fighting after all? Although I never spotted it, I didn't watch the enclosure 24 seven. So there could be, of course. Let's see if we can find one more. Eight would be a nice number for sure. We have another rock over there. I don't even remember putting so many rocks inside. There is a hide under the rock and I see some movement. See? Ooh, sweet. I should move that rock so it doesn't squish the tarantula. <laughs> Where did it go? Oh, you see how it is falling down, caving in. This is a long tunnel, huh? And we have a part of malt right there. Oh, there's, <laughs> there is the tarantula. So that means eight tarantulas after all. And while we still have one more corner to check. Drop, drop, drop. <laughs> oh, careful, careful. So let's check it. And yet another rock. Did I see something over there? Yeah, some movement. Look, look, look. <laughs> I think that this is the final tarantula, yeah. <laughs> bolty, 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 bolty. I cannot believe that after all, nine tarantulas were inside. And if I only did that like a week earlier, there would be 10 because that one that was killed would be alive. I'm gonna thoroughly check once more just to be sure that I didn't miss something, but I think that's it. No more tarantulas inside, so nine in total. Now we can for sure say that Historocrates Gigas is definitely not a communal tarantula, even though maybe only this huge one was the problem while the others just cohabited normally because these are half the size, maybe not even the half of the size of this huge Historocrates Gigas. You see, look, this one is actually bigger than these two. So I think that there is a molt or two difference between them. Anyhow, <laughs> what to say, what to say. I'm sad that this didn't work out and I'm sad that so many tarantulas did get eaten but you know, if this tarantula didn't eat the other tarantula, then that other tarantula would eat this tarantula. So yeah, it is all in their nature, I guess. But the only way to be certain that some tarantulas can be communal or not is to do this. And if someone tries to tell you that Historocrates gigas is communal species, then you can link them this video. And I will need to go back and re-edit all my videos to add description that the communal setup failed so the others don't try to do the same. Um, these tarantulas will be available, maybe not all, but majority of these tarantulas will be available for sale at Terra Plaza. So if you want to buy yourself a nice and capable Histercratus Gigas, because now you know that these are the top dogs of their gym pool, the nine best and the hardiest tarantulas out of their exec, so you know that they won't randomly die for some unknown reason. If you want to Gigas, come to Terra Plaza in Budapest in February, and also in the same time you will be able to buy some of these nice enclosures. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel more, there's a Patreon page if you need this channel make sure to subscribe by uploading monday sometimes on friday so see you soon bye, -bye.